Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is Google Cloud VMware Engine 112 vCenter Server and NSXT Manager. So this video is going to be about um, what it looks like for, a, for an administrator, either a GCP administrator or a VMware administrator. So what you would actually see um, when you've got Google Cloud VMware Engine. So we're going to start with the Google Cloud Platform Console or GCP Console. And I just want to highlight here that the VMware Engine is part of the existing menu or hamburger icon. When you click on that hamburger icon, it expands out this menu here. And just to point out that it's a first class citizen in the compute section. So it's along with App Engine, Compute Engine, Com Kubernetes Engine, Cloud Functions, you'll find VMware Engine there. And when you click on that, that will take you to the GCVE specific stuff. Um, that's where you can deploy private clouds. You can look at service level logs and alerts. But more importantly, it's where you can get access to NSXT Manager and vCenter Server itself. So we're going to look at those next. So you can launch vCenter Server um, from that link there or from that console there. And what you're presented with is a vCenter server that looks identical to the ones that you would have on premise or you used to having from you know uh, existing VMware and vSphere implementations. So you get exactly the same console for managing private cloud components. So this is where you do things like manage VMs and you do things like policies for things like storage, um, storage policy configuration, those kinds of things. But it's just exactly the same as you used to on premise. Now in this example, this just shows the GCVE instance. What I would expect is that you would have um, a vCenter server in Google Cloud VMware Engine, but you'd also have a vCenter server on-premise looking after your existing stuff. And I would expect that under normal operation, these two vCenter servers would be joined together in something that we call linked mode. And actually you'd be able to log into this one in GCVE or the one on-premise, and you'd be able to see both data centers or both sets of clusters of um, storage computer networking. So although this only shows the Google Cloud VMware Engine data center, I would expect that once this is fully configured, you'll be able to see your on-premise as one vCenter server and there'll be another vCenter server under here. So you can see on-premise and cloud, but through a single console. So what that really means is whether you log on to the vCenter server on-premise or whether you log on to the vCenter server in the cloud, you can see both data centers from the same console because of something that we call hybrid linked mode. But other than that, it's exactly the same as the vCenter server you're used to managing and you've, you've had for years anyway. One thing to point out is that there is an option inside Google Cloud VMware Engine to escalate privileges for, VC, for vCenter server. And the reason you might want to do that might be for something like a backup tool or a replication tool or an archive tool. So for example, let's say you're using something like Zerto for uh, disaster recovery between sites. And this is a third party tool that needs administrative privileges or escalated privileges. There is a, a space in the Google Cloud VMware Engine where you can escalate privileges for specific applications. And as I say, I expect that's probably things like backup tools or replication tools. And you can pick how long that escalation or how long that privilege is granted for. So there is a way of giving admin access to vCenter server for very specific applications if you want to. Now, the other thing we can do from that GCVE screen in the GCP console is we can get to NSXT Manager. So this is where we manage networking and security uh, for NSXT, whether that's um, you know the NSXT that you have on-prem or whether that's the NSXT that's in the cloud as part of Google um, Cloud VMware Engine. So again, this just shows you that it's exactly the same interface, but in this instance, we're looking at NSXT in the Google Cloud VMware Engine data center, um, but it just looks exactly the same as your traditional one that you'd have on-premise. So again, not a lot to say here other than it looks exactly the same as an on-premise solution. So there's nothing new to learn. There's no there's no weird consoles or interfaces to learn. It's an exact duplicate of what you would already have with NSXT Manager on-premise. And things you do here is configure things like T1 routers and logical segments. You can do perimeter firewalls and internal firewalls and an element of load balancing and anything else that you could do in NSXT Manager. So that's the, the Google Cloud Platform. Then we jumped into vCenter Server, and now we've just jumped into NSXT Manager. And as I said, it's exactly the same skills and exactly the same tools that you'd use for on-premise. 
So just the last thing before we wrap up here, I thought it might be important because this is a, a, a VMware platform in Google Cloud. Um, I thought it might be interesting to point out whose responsibilities each thing is. So we'll start with Google responsibilities at the bottom. So all responsibility for the infrastructure is down to Google Cloud Platform. So whether that's you know deploying hardware and configuring racks and nodes, uh, whether that's uh, data center connectivity and all those kinds of things, infrastructure is Google's responsibility. The data center as a service, so things like internet access, direct access, and VPN access, again, is all down to Google Cloud Platform, including things like fa uh, replacing failed hardware. Other things that Google is responsible for is private cloud as a service and VMware as a service. So things like deploying, configuring, patching, upgrading, and monitoring all of the ESXi or vSphere components. So that's ESXi itself, vCenter, all the patches and updates for the hardware, all the patches and updates for things like vSAN and NSXT, uh, things like network time protocol and DHCP services, all of those kinds of things. So anything you need for uh, cloud, private cloud as a service. They are also Google responsibilities. The next thing we've then is got integration with any of the other Google Cloud platform solutions. So if you want um, any of the Google Cloud VMware Engine stuff to talk to other Google Cloud um, solutions or services, again, that's the responsibility of Google. So that's all the things that Google are responsible for. The things that you as a customer are responsible for is for the operating systems that you're running on this, so most likely Windows or Linux. Um, you've then got responsibility for the applications themselves. So basically we're talking everything above the hypervisor. So from the virtual machine upwards. So operating systems and applications. Uh, you, uh, the end user manages things like uh, VMware policies, clusters, VMs, templates, um, distributed virtual switches and port groups. So the networking inside vCenter. Um, also uh, responsible for managing things like identity, so access um, to resources, uh, networking, in, again, inside the hypervisor and, you know, user um, access control and permissions. And then responsible for configuring the initial um, deployment of Google Cloud VMware Engine. So setting up things like the initial deployment and then doing basic networking and then any kind of growing or shrinking as needed. But if I was to try and summarize this slide, I would say that everything from the hardware and the data center up to the hypervisor is Google's responsibility. Then after the hypervisor, so things like virtual machines and the things inside virtual machines and the port groups used for networking and any kind of policies or templates that you use, they are all the customer's responsibility. So that's kind of an easy way of viewing what Google is responsible for and what you as a customer is responsible for. So that was Google Cloud VMware Engine 112, vCenter Server and NSXT Manager. So thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.